Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com. Today I'm gonna show you how to make glitter textures inside of Photoshop. Later in the video, I'll show you how to get this free download, so make sure to stick around for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here with a new document. This is going to be a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel 72 resolution RGB. Of course, if you're printing, the resolution will be 300 and you will be working in CMYK color. Go ahead and click create. Okay, we're going to start here with a new adjustment layer. We're going to start with a solid color. And let's go ahead and start with um, like a purple. Click OK. Okay, this is gonna be our base color. Now we'll go ahead and add another layer on top of that, another solid color layer. And this color is gonna be a brightness adjustment layer. We're gonna try to get it as close as possible to 50% gray. Click OK. On this 50% gray layer, we're gonna change the opacity to about 40%. Okay, on top of that, we're gonna add another adjustment layer. This time we're using a pattern. So all of these textures right here come standard with Photoshop. If you come over to the gear and you go down and choose Texture Fill 2, those are the layers that I'm working with. So you'll click on those and it's gonna ask you if you wanna append, uh, just click Yes, Append. For me, I already have them, so I'm gonna click on Cancel. And I'm going to use a texture called Towel. So you can kind of hover over these textures to get the names. But we're going to use this one. It's called Towel Scaled at 100%. Click OK. And we're going to change the blend mode of this one to Overlay. I'm going to call this one the Shine Layer. Now I'm going to right click Duplicate. And I'll name this one More Shine. Okay, so we have these two shine layers. And now on top of that, we're gonna add another solid color layer. We're gonna try to get as close as possible to that purple color that we already used. And we're gonna change the opacity on this one to about 40%. And I'm gonna call this toning. This, is, this layer is just gonna give us a little bit more even color across the entire texture. And then, our last layer is going to be another pattern layer. So we'll come over to the patterns and we're going to be using this pattern right here, which is called web. It's the very last pattern in that texture fill two set. So we're going to click OK, scaled at 100%. And we're going to send, we're going to set the blending mode to overlay for this. This is our detail layer. This one right here is just giving you a more even coloring throughout the glitter. So this layer right here, the more shine layer, is giving us these little white speckles that you're seeing. So you see that uh, without it, you don't really get that. That's where we're getting that. Um, this is another shine layer. So when you're working with lighter colors, you may not need this one. Uh, and this, this will work just fine. But for uh, darker colors and more saturated colors, uh, this is going to be an option. And then you have the brightness right here. So if you double click on this, you can adjust how bright and how deep this uh, color is. So I'm going to give you another example. We're going to change this color to a gold color, so maybe something like that. And now I can come into the brightness and adjust it. So if I can bring it down further, um, and then it's going to give me a different look for the gold. So I can get like a lighter gold or a darker gold. So if I leave this up, click OK. So I just wanted you to know the differences between all of these layers. Okay, there's one last thing that we have to do here and that is to get some of this obvious pattern out of this texture, this top texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and rasterize the layer. I'm gonna get rid of that layer mask and I'm going to turn the rest of these off so that I can see this one layer. Now I'm going to come over to the clone stamp. 
choose that and I'm just going to lower the size of my brush a little bit. Make sure that you're using a hard brush. That's very important. So uh, make sure it's a hard round and come back to the canvas. Press option on the keyboard or alt if you're on a PC and then just sample an area that doesn't have this seam right here. And then we can just kind of go over it. And with this texture, all you really have to do is just brush over those seams. And then we can kind of come back and stamp some areas. Okay, and when you're satisfied with what you've got, we can come back up to filter, other, and offset. We're just going to make sure that this is going to look good on a larger document. Our original document was 1000 by 1000. So this one, we're going to just cut in half 500 and horizontal, 500 vertical. Make sure that it's on wrap around and click OK. So just so that we could look at the texture and make sure that there's nothing obvious on here. And then just continue to, to stamp out those obvious parts of the pattern. And then you can turn the other layers back on. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go to Edit, Define Pattern, and I'm going to call this Gold Glitter. Click OK. Come over here to my text. Type out the word glitter because I want to show you what this looks like inside of text. Okay, so now I can double click on that. We're going to add a pattern to it. It's going to be that gold glitter that we just created. And you can adjust the size of your glitter. So you can go 50%, 75%, or just keep it at 100. I'm going to change my background to black so you can see this a little bit more. So that's our glitter texture. So you can also apply this to painting layers as well. So let's go ahead and add a new layer. And this is a transparent layer as it is right now. I'm going to double click here on the side and I'm going to add a pattern overlay to this. You're not going to be able to see it right now. So I'm going to click OK. So we just added that glitter to this and I'm going to go to my brush tool and choose so you can kind of see um, the glitter inside of the hashtags. Let's try another. So as you paint, you're actually painting on the glitter. Let's try this. We have some upcoming tutorials that are going to be using this specific texture as a base for some other more advanced textures that we're going to be making soon. So I hope you'll join me for those videos as well. To learn more about working with patterns and textures inside of Photoshop, watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.